And a six-day jury trial for Natural Bridge Zoo finally concluded late last night. It's about midnight. 29 animals seized during a raid in December will be headed back to the roadside attraction. Excuse me, but 71 others will remain in the county's custody. Tenders reporter Amy Cockrum shares recent developments in the case and where things are headed next. Giraffes, capuchins, tortoises, pythons, a skink, a mini donkey, macaws, a gibbon, tamarins, hornbills, turtles, and a dog. Those are all the animals a jury determined the Attorney General's office was justified in taking last December. 29 animals will be returned to the zoo. The defense declined to comment after the verdict while Attorney General Jason Miara's released a statement saying, quote, Virginians support clean, safe environments for animals, whether they be personal pets or zoo animals. We are grateful for the jury's thorough deliberation and thank our law enforcement partners for their assistance in ensuring the future welfare of these animals. Over the week, Special Prosecutor Michelle Welch tried to prove that animals were receiving inadequate care, saying they were thin or living in dirty enclosures. Last week I said we were going to peek behind the curtain, and behind that curtain is a whole lot of suffering of animals and filth. The defense argued enclosures were dirty because the search happened in the morning before their cleaning, and they say some of the animals were thin or were sick because of their age. A zoo with a policy of treating handicapped animals, as one witness put it, older animals, animals that might not be the prettiest specimens out on display, whether that story means that they should be deprived of their animals. The zoo's battle is far from over. There's an option for a second appeal. A court date is set for April 4th to discuss bond. And the Attorney General's office says they have an open criminal investigation into the zoo. In Rockbridge County, Amy Cochran News, working for you.